Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. So, the T Laura Pager is a compact handheld IoT development device created by Lily Go, designed for long range, off grid, wireless communication, and programmable application so it combines multiple technologies into a single portable package making it suitable for hobbyists developers and those interested in mesh networking or private messaging systems now before i get into the key features take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and that like button i appreciate you so the basically the laura connectivity right it has a built-in semtech s x1262 laura transceiver for long range low power wireless communication enabling messaging without cellular or wi-fi networks there is the esp32 s3 microcontroller which provides processing power and wireless capabilities with 8 mb ps ram and 16 mb flash expandable via micro sd there's the NFC and RFID, you know, that's the ST micro, you know, micro electronics, ST25R3916 NFC radio for near field communication and identification tasks. There's the GNSS, the GPS, right? Which has an integrated U-Blocks GPS module, which is the MIA M10Q for location tracking and navigation. There's the IMU sensor, the Bosch, you know, BHI 26, you know, zero AP, you know, inertial measurement unit for motion sensing and on device AI applications. There's display and input. That's the 2.3 inch IPS LCD, which is around 480 by 222, full QRT rubber keyboard, rotary encoder for UI navigation and backlit keys. There's audio support, whether it's microphone, speaker, head jack, or headphone jack, and audio codec for voice features. It's expandable too. There's a USB-C for power slash data, micro SD slot, 16 pin expansion port and dual flip out antennas. That's the sub gigahertz LoRa and you know, the 2.4 gigahertz. There's power management, the TI chipset for efficient energy use, right? Now let's look at some use cases that you probably would wanna use this tool in the first place, right? Well, number one is probably off grid messaging and emergency communication. So the T Laura pager is ideal for off grid messaging, allowing users to send and receive short text messages over long distances using the lower, you know, lower radio technology. So this is particularly useful in remote areas during outdoor adventures or in emergency situations where traditional communication infrastructure is unavailable or unreliable. The device can be used to set up private decentralized messaging networks, making it suitable for disaster response teams, hikers, campers, and anyone needed, you know, needing reliable communication outside of cellular coverage. So there is a mesh networking aspect of this too. So the device supports mesh networking protocols such as mesh core and mesh tastic, enabling messages to hop between multiple devices and cover larger areas. So this makes it useful for community networks, outdoor events, or group expeditions where maintaining group contact is important. Now let's look at development and experimentation. With its programmable ESP32 S3 microcontroller and open development environment, the T Laura pager is also popular among hobbyist makers and developers interested in building custom wireless communication, you know, with IoT applications or prototyping new features. There's everyday carry for secure private messaging as well. So it's compact, you know, form factor for foldable antennas and ergonomic design make it suitable you know as an everyday carry device for secure private and independent messaging without reliance on third-party servers or networks there's location and tracking so the built-in gps module enables location sharing and basic you know navigation which can be useful for coordinating movements in the field or tracking assets in remote environments there's design and ergonomics right ergonomics so it's compact it's portable with foldable, you know, basically an antenna, we talked about that for portability, it's designed to evoke nostalgia for classic pages and early BlackBerry devices while offering modern connectivity and programmability. Now the price is listed around 82 bucks and 67 cents, but it may be out of stock at times. Now, here's some things to note. 
please note to develop applications using the built-in UI demo on the T Laura pager, you should start by exploring the modifying, you know, the demo provided by the LilyGo, right? The built-in UI demo is designed to showcase smooth interaction via, via the device's encoder and serves as a foundation for learning how to program different application scenarios, you know, more specifically for the T Laura pager. Now, the development process is as goes. You have to explore the built-in demo. The demo demonstrates how to use the, basically the device's hardware features such as the QWERTY keyboard, right? Encoder the screen, the GPS and sensors and provides example code for UI navigation and interaction. You can modify or extend the demo. You can use the demo as a template to build your own applications by studying the demo's code structure and UI logic. You can adapt it to suit your specific use case and add new features. The programming you know, environment is as goes. The T Laura pager is based on the ESP32 S3 platform. So you can you know, develop applications using the Arduino IDE, the platform IO or ESP IDF, depending on your preference and experience with embedded development. Now, in regards to documentation and community resources, you have to refer to the LilyGo's Lili official documentation and repositories for hardware specifics and sample code. Community forums and open source projects, you know, basically can, can, can also provide additional examples and support. Okay, so this is this pager. This pager is out here, is, 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 is getting a lot of traction, a lot of buzz. So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you want more videos like this and you appreciate this content, please let me know that by hitting that subscribe button and the like button right now. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you on the next video.